Yo, what is up, nerds? Xavier Elon here. Today I'm going over a Amazon asked question. Um, I think Facebook asked it as well. So, it's remove nth node from end of list. Medium problem on link code. Uh, the description reads given a linked list, remove the nth node from the end of list and return its head. So, they just give us a linked list. We want us to remove the second node from the end. So, they want us to remove four. We return the updated linked list with the four removed. And that's it. So,. Um, I drew out two examples on my iPad. Um, sorry, it's a little bit small, but so the first thing we're going to want to do is create a dummy node that goes before the first node. Um, I'm going to show you guys why we need that in this example. After um, we're going to use two pointers, so we're going to put both pointers at the dummy node, so first and second, and this is the head we want to create a pointer to reference the head so we can return that later so dummy.next is going to be set to head and the intuition behind this well first n equals 2 so they, if they want us to remove the 6 um, the second node from the end of the list is going to be 6 we want to get a pointer to this one so we can just do pointer.next equals pointer.next.next so how do we get a pointer to the node right behind the second from the end one. Um, we can't just move it to because um, it'll get here. But if we remove one pointer n plus one nodes, so three. So we move the first one here three times there. And second stays the same. And and then in the second loop, if we move it until it reaches null, so we're going to move it one, two, three, four, five. So five. It's five away from null. Second happens to be one, two, three, four, five away from null, or not away from null, from the node that we want to remove. So we just do that. We move them at the same time until first equals null. So we move the second one, and now second is here, and now we just do second.next equals second dot next dot next um, so sorry getting all these notifications uh, the reason we need dummy is we if we do first here n equals one they want us to remove the, the first node you know second if we move first n plus one it's here we just do second dot next that equal a second dot next we can't do that it's not gonna work we need to put a dummy here so when let me redraw this um, dummy dot next is still the head and we move n equals one so we move the first one two well first is already null second's already here so we just do second dot next equal second dot next dot next and then we re return dummy dot next that's why we need the dummy. Um, we could actually not use the dummy in this example here, and it would work, but it wouldn't work for a linked list with one node. So that's like a edge case that we're gonna check for. So now let's just code it out. <coughs> so let's create the dummy node. Give it a value of zero. Oh, get my iPad out of the way. And dummy.next is going to be set to head. We're going to return this at the end. It's pointing to the head, basically. Um, and we're going to create the first and second pointers. So and remember, we set them equal to dummy because we want them before the linked list in case they give us a linked list with one node. Second equals dummy. And we're going to have a for loop. So this is where we're going to move the first node, or the first pointer, I'm sorry, the first pointer. So while i is less than n plus 1, the plus 1 comes from the dummy node that we created. We have to count for that. i plus plus. Let's just loop through, and we're doing first. We're just moving first along the list. And then we're going to have a while loop. So we remember we wanted to get the first node, or the first pointer, equal to null. And we're going to move first and second at the same time. So, and then if we're we have second right before the node that we want to remove, 
So we're just going to set second.next equal to the node right after. And I open a new tab for some reason. So second.next.next will remove the node from the list. And then lastly, let's just return dummy.next because it's still pointing to the head. So we return the head of the list. And I tried shooting this video like four times already. But OBS does not work on my 5K screen, so I had to switch to my laptop. And there you have it, 100%. Um, o of n runtime, just because we're moving through the linked list. Uh, constant space complexity, because we're not creating any new data structures. Um, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you guys have any criticisms, I'm open to those as well. If you guys want me to do any problems, I will. Just let me know in the comments, and I will respond to you. Thanks for watching.